Hello everybody, this is Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. We are a small privately owned psychic service. If you need a psychic reading, we would love to help you. Call us at 1-800-966-2294. We also are very passionate about educating our clients and just the general public about psychics and how we do our we do our we do stuff around here. So if you have any questions, uh, call us. We would love to help. I wanted to go over today about 10 ways to be more psychic. Um, there are a lot of people that ask about this, they ask us in the office and then they also ask the readers about this um, because a lot of people are like, how do you end up psychic? How does this happen? And really it is a journey for all of the readers. Um, some of them are naturally born with more ability than others, but there are definitely certain ways that you can help hone in on your abilities in order to help yourself and other people around you and then maybe possibly be a professional reader at some point. Um, we do believe that most people have some sort of intuitive ability um, and it's sometimes it's just a matter of honing in on that a little bit more and having faith in yourself in order to get to the next level. However, there's also a lot of stuff that you can do on top of that, um, you know, gaining more knowledge about the psychics and how they do their readings would be one of them. Um, we wanted to go over 10 ways to be more psychic today. Um, the first way um, that we believe in order to help hone in your abilities is to recognize and believe and develop the faith and trust in your own abilities. Um, having that confidence really uh, will really, really help you. And it can take a little while to get there. We do understand that. That's totally normal. Um, but believing in yourself and having the faith and trust in your abilities is going to be very, very important in order for you to be an accurate reader and also one who, who has faith in what they're saying. Um, that's very, very important because sometimes people are a little bit fearful to say exactly what they're thinking. Um, and you can always, there are definitely ways to, to tell somebody, even if you have bad news, um, that do have that you you know you have a heart with it, um, but having that faith in yourself really really will help um, so that you can trust in your abilities. Um, the second way to help hone in on your psychic abilities is going to be to let go of fear. A lot of people are very fearful of intuition and their gift. Um, basically, we understand this. That, that's the first thing I will say. Um, and by all means, there are certain certain psychic abilities that are scarier than others. Um, for instance, if you are a psychic medium and you don't necessarily know about it too much and there's spirits trying to come to you, that could be really kind of scary. So we want you to know that getting on the other side of that fear will actually help you. Um, and I think that a lot of times when you're letting go of fear, um, I think that one of the things that you can do is actually just research as much as possible to know that because the more knowledge you have about something, the little bit less fearful you'll be. Um, so definitely letting go of fear and then you know gaining some knowledge is going to help you in a hone in on your intuition and your psychic abilities. The third way to become more psychic is actually gonna be to meditate. Um, through meditation, sometimes prayer for a lot of people, um, some sort of focus and inward focus that can possibly help you just really have, it, it will definitely develop your confidence. It will definitely help you let go of fear, um, meditation and prayer, and then also just going on to a spiritual journey will help you in developing your intuition and your psychic ability. The fourth way to figure out uh, or to help your psychic ability is to allow yourself to feel. Give yourself the time and the energy towards feeling. Um, a lot of people spend so much time on electronics, on TV, on work, just doing a lot of things that have their brain in a different location um, than what it could be. You know, so if, you have, if you're in the present and you are, you're meditating um, and then you allow yourself to feel your intuition will start to catch up a little bit. Um, you know, not being on your phones all the time looking at different things online definitely will help you just have some thoughts to that's not necessarily directed by the internet or by whatever you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook or anything like that. Um, definitely allowing yourself to feel and allowing your uh, mind to just drift is going to help your intuition develop and make you more psychic. Um, which takes me which takes me to my fifth one, um, which is going to be to take you know take time away from tech, TV, and other things that keep your mind off the present. Um, you do want to focus on energy. You want to observe other people. Um, you want to you know really look at other people and help and try to help them. Um, and in doing that, you do have to tone out a lot of different things that we have going on just you know in our lives. Um, taking time for yourself and then taking time out of tech and out of off TV just to allow your mind to wander and for you to feel is going to be very, very important. The next way to be, to be more psychic is actually to look for guidance for a men, look to for guidance from a mentor. 
a mentor will really, really help. Um, I know actually most of our readers do have a mentor that they still work with and who they still talk to and communicate with. And it, you know, your mentor can help you not just learn about the industry, but they can also help you, um, you know, notice things about yourself that maybe you don't necessarily see. And they're also just kind of like a spiritual partnership that can kind of, uh, you know, guide you in the right direction and keep you in the positive energy. Um, it's just a really good way to also learn about the industry and learn about different things going on and have somebody to relate to because it can, as I said earlier, it can get a little bit scary. So that's definitely a very important too, is to take, you know, get a, you know, find a good mentor, a good positive mentor who can help you with this. That will definitely help. And the next one is actually to learn positive boundaries. Um, there's many, many ways to learn positive boundaries in this industry. It could be just just that you don't open your energy up to everyone. You only open it up to somebody who is actually looking for help and who deserves help. That could be something that could happen. Um, if you're a psychic medium, figure out the boundary of how to, because a lot of psychic mediums have very, very difficult time sleeping and just having trying to have a boundary between yourself and the spirit world and being able to go to your own world without can be very, very difficult. So learn to set positive boundaries. That's going to help you. Um, if you're more of a clairvoyant type of reader, um, somebody's energy can actually get kind of caught up in your area, so learn your boundaries with that too. Um, definitely clearing energy will come in to focus too on the boundaries because a lot of times clearing energy is very, very, it's, it's, it's a necessity for a psychic reader. Um, a lot of times they just have so much energy coming in that they have to be able to have a set boundary of exactly you know how to do things. And you know, it's, honestly, it's, there will always be some spirits and some energies that you just cannot shake um, and so, you know, the, the better you can figure out how to do these boundaries, especially at the beginning and you're, you're going through your process, then that's going to help you so much more in, you know, in the future, especially if you're opening your energy up to other people's energy. Um, the next one is going to be, next way to be more intuitive and more psychic is going to be to let your imagination take over. Um, you know, is when you're thinking about, let's say, um, let's say that you do see a stranger on the street and you, you just feel energy from them. Um, you know, is let your imagination take over of what you think that their day is like. Um, now, you don't necessarily have to go up and ask the person because I don't think that that's really something that you're going to necessarily want to do. But um, just letting your imagination run wild is going to help you become more psychic and intuitive because you're opening yourself for the energy and the possibilities that, of what this entire realm can bring. Um, the next one is going to be um, to becoming more psychic is going to be the research as much as possible. Um, you are going to want to research tarot cards, astrology, clairvoyance, psychic mediumship, um, you name it, spirit guides, you know, as many things as possible. You do want to be as educated as possible in this industry because because there's just a million different ways to be psychic. And sometimes if you don't know the terms and you don't know what's going on, you may not be able to really open up all of your psychic abilities. So definitely research. And it really is a lifetime process of it, but definitely research as much as possible. And you also will want to research chakras, um, energy clearing, um, you name it. There's just a million different ways that you can go with it, but research as much as possible. Fill your brain with the positive stuff that's coming in and then also with as much education as possible in this industry. The last way that I want you to practice in, is to, to developing your psychic abilities is to actually practice and journal your predictions um, and then check back and see if they're accurate. Um, journaling and actually having a record of the date and when you, you know, saw this, dreamt it, sometimes you dream stuff. Um, definitely journal as much as possible to see which areas you're strongest with. You know, there's going to be some areas like, let's say you're really, really good with relationships and you call ex almost exactly what's going to happen with somebody in a relationship. That could possibly be your really strong suit. Um, and we want you to research that so you know, but also to practice and journal because then you can see if you're accurate, which is really, really important, you know, is... Um, for the readers to be accurate, that's probably one of our A number one things that we want for our psychics. And it's because that's what people need. They need to have accurate information for whatever kind of issue they're having. Um, and so definitely to journal and to hold yourself accountable and make sure your, your predictions are correct. I think that's gonna really, really help you too. So if you have any more questions along this line, we would love to help you. Um, call us at 1-800-966-2294. If you like this type of content, please give us a thumbs up. It really, really helps us um, with our uh, YouTube rankings. Um, we definitely want to help as many people as possible with this. And if you can do that, we would really appreciate it. Um, we hope you have a wonderful week. And if you have any questions, call us 1-800-966-2294. Thank you and have a good day.